Good morning, everyone. It's Sherry Shrallow coming to you from the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois, uh, from Plant-Based Nutrition Movement, of which I am privileged to serve on the Board of Directors and also chair their Culinary Committee. So I wanted to talk about a new year and new beginnings. You know, with this virus raging out of control, now is the time, everyone, and I'm speaking to mainly my non-plant-based friends and acquaintances. Now is the time to think about how you can boost your immunity, prevent and reverse diseases by eating more plants and less animal foods. Now, as most of you know, I haven't had an animal food in my mouth for about 10 years now after my near fatal heart attack when I was 56 years old, 10 years ago now. I am doing well and I have vibrant health and it's all because of my lifestyle. So I want to share with you today something that I think you'll really enjoy making for yourself and for your families. It's called a creamy sun-dried tomato and kale pasta dish. And I did this this morning. I like to cook in the morning and get it over with and then just uh, reheat it later in the day for dinner. But let me just show you what it looks like and let me tell you what's in it. So take a look at this dish. And I did it in a skillet. You can do it um, on a fry pan or a big pot on your stove. But take a look at the creaminess of this recipe. This is from one of my favorite plant-based bloggers and recipe creator. His name is Shane Martin, and you can find all of his great recipes at Shane and Simple. So you can find that on the web. But I will post this recipe um, on my page, and then I'll share it with other pages so that you can make it too. Let me just tell you what's in this though. So in this recipe, all you have to do is chop up one onion, three cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of tomato paste, a half teaspoon of salt and pepper each, four ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. And sun-dried tomatoes are really what give this recipe their flavor and their kick. One of, the good one of the good ingredients in here. And then what you do is you slice them into teeny little thin pieces. You just need four ounces of them. I also used two and a half cups of low sodium vegetable broth along with two and a half cups of unsweetened plant milk. Now you can use soy milk, you can use almond milk, you can use unsweetened oat milk, whatever you decide to purchase at the store is fine. Then I took a whole pound of whole wheat penne pasta, and if you are gluten-free, just go ahead and substitute some kind of a rice penne pasta. That will work as well. I used, it says five ounces of chopped kale. I probably did 10 ounces because greens are so important to our health. So I put about 10 ounces. And as you can see, when you chop it up and it wilts away, you don't even hardly see it. And then I used something called nutritional yeast, which gives it sort of a cheesy flavor. But it is a delicious thing to add to this dish. You can find it in most grocery stores. For sure, it's at Whole Foods. You can get it online on Amazon, Amazon, but it's something that I keep in my kitchen. It is a staple in my cooking. Then I took some crushed red pepper flakes and added them in. And Shea Martin did not add mushrooms to his recipe, but I added about six ounces of chopped portobello mushrooms because I happen to be a mushroom lover. So all you do, you'll, you'll follow the directions. They're really simple. And in this one, you don't even have to cook the pasta ahead of time. Although I have to say, I did pre-cook mine today because I have found that I like it a little softer, not as hard as when, it, when you put it all in the pot and cook it together, but it's up to you, whatever you prefer. So that's it for today. So please try this recipe. Again, I'll post it, the link to it, on my Facebook page, and let me know what you think of it. And please, please, please eat more plants in 2021. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful day.